And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat. And of course, our morning cup of coffee. And a blessed Holy Thursday to us all. Obviously, I've pre-recorded this because there's liturgy this morning. And uh, hopefully we're all trying to attend church as much during the week as we can. We talked about that on Tuesday. Please try to come to as many of the services as we can. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the themes for the end of the week and something maybe that we can benefit from. Let's sort of assume that we're coming to church now, right? It's Holy Thursday. So Thursday night, it's the 12 Gospels. It's the procession of the cross. It's the passion, the crucifixion. We have to come to that. And... Um, Good Friday, tomorrow, Holy Friday, afternoon especially, the descent from the cross, the apocathilosis, or the unnailing from the cross, right, where we take the body down off the crucifix and we put the cloth icon of the epitaphios, right, the burial in the cuvucleon, in the tomb that's decorated, right, sort of connecting that, and then Good Friday, tomorrow night, Holy Friday night, the epitaphios service, we sing the engomia, the lamentations, we process around the church, Sort of that's the descent of Christ into Hades, right? Freeing all of those in the realm of death, anticipating already the resurrection. Holy Saturday morning, we have the sort of proteanastasy, the announcement of the resurrection or first resurrection, where we sort of say, arise, O God, and judge the earth. And we throw the rose petals and the bay leaves around the church, getting ready for the resurrection. Then, of course, Holy Saturday night into Sunday morning is the resurrection service. And so all of these ideas and, and participation, it's incredibly important. And I've already said, please try, come to as many of the services from now on as you possibly can. These are our holiest days of the year. There's really no good excuse for Orthodox Christians unless something, of course, extreme happens and you have a good excuse. But generally speaking, don't say, well, I can't be there. I can't take off work. You can take off work. If you want to take a sick day, a personal day, you can do that. If you can please do that. When else are you going to do it? Everyone else gets religious holidays. Why don't we take our religious holidays? These are the days to take them. If you're not taking it on Good Friday, when are you taking it? This is the most important time to do it, to come to church and to participate. But what I wanted to say was, when we participate, we're not just sort of remembering, right? We're sort of participating in the events as if they're happening now. So tonight, when we have the procession of the cross, we will sing Simeron Cremata, right? Today, he who suspended the earth amidst the waters is suspended on the cross. And you'll hear that uh, word a lot, Simeron, right? Today, literally in, in the ancient Greek. A lot of the hymns of the week start with that word, especially tonight, today. We say it over and over and over again. Because we're not just sort of remembering something that happened 2,000 years ago plus, we are participating in it. For us as Orthodox Christians, it's as if these things are happening now, today. That's why we say today, not a long time ago, he who suspended the earth, but today, so that we can not just remember it and call it to mind, but actually participate in a mystical way, of course. We're not physically there, but mystically, we're there. And that's important because that sort of has something to say about how we're behaving during these holiest days of the year. We're behaving as if it's happening now, as if it's happening today. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, today is Holy Thursday. Tonight, my Lord and Savior is crucified. If I was really there, and it was really 2,000 some years ago, and I was there, and it was happening on that day, and I was alive that day, and I knew it, I knew what was happening, I knew who he was, and I knew what was going on, what would I do? that day. Would I wake up that day and say, wow, my Lord and Savior is going to be crucified a little later. I should go to work. I should, you know, or it's happening right now. Eh, it's, I don't really need to see it firsthand. I'll just kind of, I'll stay home and relax with my family. What would we really do? How would we not want to be at the foot of the cross? How would we not want to be there and see that? All of these events that are happening are happening now. People say, Father, I wish I could get in a time machine and go back and see that happen. I wish I could go back and see the resurrection at the tomb and see the angel come down and roll the stone away and see Christ be resurrected. I said, well, we do that every year. I mean, we can't physically do it, but mystically, spiritually, 
That's what we're doing. We're participating in it as if it's happening. And yet, we just sort of say, well, I have to be, it's late, you know, I'll go in the morning, I'll go some other time. I don't have to be there for all the services. I can, you know, I'll pick and choose whatever I can. And of course, we do the best we can. But with whatever we're doing, whatever services we can make, and we make as many as we can, do the best you can. Remember, though, that when you are there, it's as if it's happening now. And to feel that way, spiritually and emotionally, as if you're participating in it for real, because in a sense, you are. That should have something to say about what we're doing these few holy days of the year. Where we're going, what we're doing, what we're seeing, how we're thinking. And are we really sort of connected and plugged in to what's happening? Or are we just sort of pretending like it's apart from us and it's external? The church is doing this over here, but I live my life over here. Why do you think the church is doing all this? It's for you. So that in your life over here, you can experience and have some connection to what he did for you 2,000 years ago. It's making it real for us today so that we can participate in it. And so that's the last main question. Are we participating in it? And are we acting like it's really happening now? Because guess what? It is for us in a spiritual and mystical way. And so we have to think about that and behave appropriately so that we learn not only how to behave appropriately two or three days a year, but each and every day of the year. Amen.